Um, hi. Uh, okay, so <laughs> every time I start filming, I don't know why, I get very giddy and I like don't really know how to act even though I've been doing this for a really long time now. <laughs> I'm like, how do I do an intro? Anyways, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I saw this thing. Also, if you're new here, subscribe. I, I've been like jumping in. I feel like I've been jumping into my videos like very quickly lately, but yeah, if you're new, hi, I'm Roxette. I used to always do this intro where it's like, hey guys, I'm Roxette Arisa and welcome back to my channel. But I feel like I outgrew that or like maybe I just got older and was like more cringed at myself. Like I don't really know what happened, but all of a sudden there was a day where I was just like, that is not the intro for me anymore and I feel like I haven't really found my new intro so if you have any suggestions let a girl know. I found this like amazing makeup look okay on Pinterest and I am obsessed and it's kind of like that 70s makeup trend that's been going around for a little while but like this is incredible okay I don't know who this model is and I don't know who the makeup artist is or if it's if she is the makeup artist because it's on Pinterest and I feel like on Pinterest you just like can never really find out who to properly credit so if anybody knows who this is please leave her in the comments um or who the makeup artist is so that I can you know credit them in the description box but this makeup look is popping and as soon as I saw it I literally was like Change. We need to rearrange my whole schedule today because I have to do this makeup look like I feel so inspired by this look and just the trend and the glitter and the fun I'm also going to a work dinner with Joe and like one of his clients today and I feel like <laughs> I Like I don't know how that's gonna roll like I'm gonna walk up just like stunting on them with like all my glitter and all my cut crease and whatever I hope they like it. Let's do it. So the skin. Oh, I look very like it's my evil plan today. No, that was so stupid. Why am I so annoying? Like, actually, why am I the most annoying person on the face of this earth? Okay, we're gonna restart. I'm gonna be confident. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be relaxed. All right, so <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna do matte skin because the picture is matte, very matte. And I'm gonna start off with a primer that's Nice and pore filling. This is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Primer. So it's a little green. I have some redness going on. So I just want to smooth everything out and get a nice, even base going. I love this primer because it's really, really smoothing, but you still get a little bit of radiance. You know I can't, like, I gotta have a little glow in there. <laughs> My skin doesn't, like, like to do anything but glow. If I try to mattify the shine, it's just like, Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> so for brows, we're gonna do light but fluffy brows. I'm going in with the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Taupe. And then I'm gonna wisp these brows up with the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. All right, and then I'm gonna take the same concealer that I used to carve the brows and just make a little eyeshadow base. All right, so we're gonna start to build this up. The glitter and the like, shadow on the look go pretty high. So I'm just gonna add on a little cool tone brown transitional shade. You can also use your bronzer or contour powder for this, but I'm using the palette that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this for the lid because I, I don't have a glitter that's that exact color. So I feel like I'm gonna try to recreate it a little bit with this color and then the glitter on top. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership palette forget exactly which one this is, but I'll have it listed down below, but it's the one that has this shape, these shapes. And I'm gonna start to kind of build it out in the shape of that graphic guy. Okay, and I think what we're gonna do is do the graphic line first, cause it kind of looks like the glitter in the blue is going over the graphic line a little bit. So we're gonna do the graphic line, then we're gonna fill everything in. I think that's a good plan. I don't know. So this is like one of my number one tips when it comes to liner. Start with a powder, like any black eyeshadow that you have. They even sell them like at the drugstore for singles or 
I think even at Sephora or MAC or anywhere, they have like single black eyeshadows if you don't have any in your eyeshadow palette. And start off making the line, especially when it's like graphic liner, with powder because it's so much easier to correct. And then you go over it, or I go over it, with a gel. You could also use a liquid, but I like gels. All right, so this beautiful blue. Look how beautiful that is. Like, the vibes. Yes, this is the vibe. This is a vibe. So I'm gonna pat that gently all over the lid, even over top of, oh, this is gonna be so pretty, oh my God. It's a little different. It's not exactly the same tone as the photo, but oh my God, it kind of matches my background perfectly. Um, but, I don't know, I'm liking the vibe, so I'm just gonna go with this. I'm gonna make it my own a little bit, but it's, this, this shade is a little bit more purple than what's in the photo. I'm gonna go all over the eye, though, and even pat this over top of where we put down that powder eyeliner. It's still gonna leave a stencil, but it gives it this more messy look. Like, we don't really want this to look like a cut crease, you know? We want it to look undone and just that slightly messy vibe, but the padding motions are gonna be your best friend because we wanna leave that stencil in place since we're gonna go over it with our gel liner. And you just wanna get that all over. <sighs> Pat McGrath, dude, I don't know what it is about Pat McGrath products, but there's like magic dust in them or something. I love her eyeshadows so, so much. They're so unique. Now I'm gonna take my gel liner. This is MAC Black Track. And I'm just gonna go over our stencil with our gel to make this nice and dark. I feel like, yeah, that's a vibe, that's a vibe. I always love these graphic eye looks and like every time I do one, I'm always like, why do I not do this more often? I kind of did mine a little bit more like a cat eye, but I don't know, that's, that's just my vibe. So we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna take this Lemon Head Glitter. It's kind of like a chunky gel glitter. I've never used this, but I've heard about it for years. And I finally bought it. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try to follow a similar glitter pattern. So I'm filling in the area that's like on top of the eye, but I'm also going a bit outside of the lines and here in the inner corner and then on top of the graphic eye near the brow bone. Okay, yes, I like this. I feel like it's kind of cute how it's not perfected. It's like a little messy, like who is she? Is she like, she's the type of girl that has really good music taste and a really, really messy room. Like that's who I'm embodying right now. That's actually me. <laughs> I guess I'm just embodying me because that is literally the definition of me actually. I kind of think I'm done with the eyes. I'm gonna go underneath my tight line. I like this glitter, by the way. It's like, it was very easy to use. It, since it's that gel texture, you don't need like a glitter mixing uh, medium or anything. This is the best black, blackest black pencil liner I think I've ever used. It's Make It Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil in graphite, which is just the black and it is so good. It, it's like the most pigmented, creamy, long lasting, perfect invention of life itself. So I'm just gonna go underneath, fill in this area to make it look super dark. I also feel like that just like makes the eyes look more complete. And I genuinely, like genuinely love that this is not a sharpener type of pencil. It's the twist up type. So you don't have to worry about like grabbing a pencil sharpener to line your tight line. Okay, you guys are going to be shocked by the next thing that I have to say. Like, I'm genuinely shocked, but I am not a false lashes girl anymore. Like, I don't even remember the last time that I wore falsies, which is insane, because if you had asked me even a year ago, like, if that would ever, ever be me, I would have been like laughing in your face quite genuinely. I went on my whole France trip, didn't wear falsies once. Even before that, I feel like I have not worn falsies in literally so long. I grew up my natural lashes and I'm set. Like I don't, it's cut my time down by so much. Like I am shocked at how long I used to spend putting on lashes and like still not really even being that happy with them. 
grande lash is truly the best thing that has ever happened to me. That was like a little bit of an exaggeration, but like I'm impressed. Like I feel like my lashes now after, you know, however long I've been using it, which has been a while. Like it obviously takes a while. It's not going to work overnight, but like my lashes now look like how I wanted them to look with falsies by themselves. And also this mascara is pretty bomb. I had forgotten all about this, but I forgot to bring mascara on like when I went to France and I picked this up there, the Bit Bad Gal Bang by Benefit and it is so good. And it, when you want those like long lengthy, like not so voluminous, but more length, this is a really nice little mascara. I feel like this is just kind of a vibe, okay? Not kind of actually, like really a vibe. Um, okay, so I'm gonna move to face. Obviously we've already done our primer, so I'm gonna move straight on to foundation. Pat McGrath, I swear to you guys, her products are next level. I have so many mountains like building under my skin. They actually don't look that bad on camera. In person, mounds under my skin right now. We're gonna go in with some concealer and cream contour. These breakouts are honestly so weird. That's not my like usual breakout spot. I usually break out all over my forehead. So this is like a very weird moment for me because I'm kind of like, how do I correct this? All right, and then we're gonna take the matte velvet skin powder foundation and set under the eyes, really press that in to get a nice smooth look. And I'm gonna use the shade Y365, same product, Make It Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder. This is just like uh, something that's more similar to like my foundation color. And I'm actually gonna mattify my little breakout area. Cause the problem is when they're like these mounds like this, as you saw without makeup, like it's not really red and there's not much to color correct. It's actually just like the texture on the skin. So when you have a breakout like this or mask me, you definitely want to mattify it and like try to get it into the skin a little bit more. Now that we have matte velvet skin on, I'm going to take the Lorac Pro setting powder. And then while that bakes, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. So I'm not going to do any blush because it doesn't really look like she's wearing blush in the photo. I'm just going to warm up the face a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Desi Do Me Over spray and back in with that eyeliner, the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Color Pencil. Smoke that out with this little brush. This is from the Morphe Ariel collection and it's A18. This is like the perfect little brush to smoke it out because you can get really precisely in there. I'm gonna go in with the glitter and the mascara on the bottom as well to finish things off. Wait, this is such a vibe. Oh my God, I love it. That really completes it, like that bottom just a little bit. And finally for the lip, she has that gorgeous like burgundy brown. So I'm gonna start off with MAC Mahogany lip pencil. And then I'm gonna go over that with cork. I'm gonna put a little bit of MAC Velvet Teddy. That's a little bit more pink than what she has in the photo, but I feel like it kind of ties nicely since we have a more purple. Hers is more teal, which I actually like looking at hers. I, I do like hers a lot. We just kind of went in a different direction um, <laughs> and made it a little bit more purple, but I do like the teal. I kind of want to do the teal one day, but I like the purple too. Okay, so what do we think? A vibe, a vibe. This is actually like kind of a unique color combination for me, I feel. I like it. All right, so that is it for this video. I love you guys. Remember you are beautiful inside and out and subscribe for more. <laughs> I can't talk. I like, you would think that this is my first time ever doing a YouTube video, but anyways, I love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. Surprisingly, I do have a lot more videos on my channel. So yeah, subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next Sunday with a new video. So. Love you guys.